what is the significance of a man's tam, you know, the Scottish bonnet, being worn on the left or the right side, or doesn't it matter? And I think we, we know what the answer to this is going to be, but it doesn't You're matter. You're the hat guy. It doesn't me. matter. Um, there are a lot of myths about hats. One is that there's some significance to having your, your tam flopping off to the left or flopping off to the right. Another is, you know, does it mean something? You have the ribbons in the back of a Balmoral tied or uh, into a bow or loose. Um, that's all basically, more. yeah, it's basically all urban folklore. It doesn't actually mean anything. Um, there are, of course, some uh, regs for the military versions of these hats, the Glengarry and the Balmoral that go back in time. But if you're talking about civilian wear with traditional Scottish hats, um, you just put it on your head. That's, that's the super simple short answer. If it's sunny, you center it and you pull it forward. They did. If As a matter of fact, yes. Yeah. If the sun is on your right, pull it to the right. Mm -hmm. For a Balmoral, it would be you pull it to the right because the little thing there is on the left Correct. for the cap badge. Cockade. So yeah, cockade. Thank you. Mm -hmm. For a, a regular tam or you know something that's you know just kind of round shaped, there's no right or wrong. It's yeah, just you mushed it around to whatever worked for you. Yeah, it's a big mushroom on your head. That's it. Basically, it's practical. That's it. Yeah. There's no great mystery. There's no secret code. There's no secret society of the Balmoral. Right. Um, right. It's. It, you know, there may be one that's, you know, you, you do more often or more people do more often pulling it to the right side versus the left, but there's no symbolism that I'm aware of. Um, no. With that. Not really. No. Um, it all, yeah, because they all evolved out of just the very practical, you know, Scottish bonnet, the blue bonnet. What I found interesting about that is that the, uh, the blue bonnet was actually originally a lowland hat, not a highland hat. Hmm. And it, 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 it spread because it, it became very popular. But okay. back around like the 17th century, it was a lowland thing. And it was very much the symbol of the Covenanters, Presbyterians or Proto-Presbyterians who were all about the Scottish church being its own thing. And uh, it's more complicated than that, but that's Google the... Google John Knox. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fair enough. Yeah, so that, but that's the short answer is uh, be careful about urban folklore. There is no significance to how you wear a lot of this stuff, you know? Yeah. The that's, biggest, that's the main takeaway. <clears throat> the uh, uh, there's a book called uh, "So You Want to Wear the Kilt," and the biggest um, one of the one of the few one of the many, I don't know, depending on who you're asking, um, issues that people take with the book is him talking about. Well, you know, there there's a thing that says that you wear. You know, if you're you tie the bow on the back of your hat if you're single. It's like, and yeah, you, it's like the, the myth. Or, he, I think the myth he had in there was that you tie the bow. If it, you're married and you leave it loose if you're single. Yeah, it's bunk. It's yeah. complete BS. No. It's yeah. made up, and that's the reason why you have to double check everything. Don't believe any don't believe anything we say. Do your own research. Look it up yourself. Do you know factual things. We try to give you accurate answers. We try yeah. to, you know, tell you when we're not sure with something, we'll tell you. But don't just believe an old story because it's what your grandpa and, told and you. And Occam's razor. Yeah. The simplest answer is very often the case. Yeah. So.